Okay, students, we are in MSET Mathematics and also we are in Probability Chapter. See, until now, five classes we have finished and 20 questions we have finished. This is sixth class. We try to solve from question number 21 to 24 in this class. Okay, see, this is a JE question, JE 2004 question. The probability that A yes speaks truth is 4 by 5. Okay, direct probability they are giving P of A. Okay, I am writing step by step. Okay. See, probability of A speaks is 4 by 5. Not speaks 1 minus 4 by 5. That is equal to 1 by 5. Okay. Let me see. If he speaks 5, 4 will be true and 1 will be false. Okay. Go back again. This probability for B is 3 by 4. That means see, probability of B is equal to 3 by 4. That means 4 if he speaks, 3 will be correct. True. 1 will be, 1 by 4 will be wrong. That means the probability of B bar is equal to 1 minus 3 by 4. That is equal to 4 minus 3, 1 by 4. 1 by 4 will be lie. Lie are not true, untrue, false. Okay, now... What is asking the probability that they contradict each other when asked to speak on fact is the contradiction means what I have to see here. Formula I am writing, observe carefully. P of A into P of B bar plus P of B into P of A bar. That means see A true and B false plus B true and A false. This is going to be called as this probability. Okay. Let us do it then. We have already having figures. See, 4 by 5 into B. 1 by 4 plus 3 by 4 into 1 by 5. That is equal to. See, 4, 4 you cancel out. Okay. See, 1 by 5 plus 3 by 20. Okay. Then 20 you take. 5, 4 times. 4 plus 3. 7 by 20 will be the probability. Okay? 7 by 20 will be your answer. Let us go for next question. Okay, see, question number 22. This is also JE 2010 question. See, an Uru contains 9 balls of which are 3 are red, 4 are blue and 2 are green. What is Urmi? Urmi is like a jar. Even you can think it is a box or something like. Okay, see, why? Because see, or bucket like. But uh, see, bucket means it will be a little bit open. You can, you may be knowing what is there inside and all. But urn means little bit like what we can say. Uh, little bit closed type. You can put a hand, that's all. But uh, directly you cannot see entire the things inside what is there. Nine balls are there. From nine balls, you are taking three balls. Three are red, four are blue and two are green. Three balls are drawn at random without replacement. That means you have not replaced it. You are taking one by one. Three balls have taken from the owner. The probability that three balls are of different colors. See here, first I will write sample space. N of S. See, total nine balls, you are taking three balls. Nine into eight into seven by three into two. 3 3s, 2 4s, 12 7s are 84. Okay, let's see, this is the sample space. Among 9 balls, you are taking 3 balls. Okay, uh, now see again, go back. What is the event then? See, event is whatever the balls you have drawn, those should be different, different colors. So, how many colors? 3 colors. 3 colors, 3 balls, that's all. That means, see, 1 ball from one color. See, three red balls are there, okay, one ball into four blue balls are there, one ball into two green balls are there, one ball. This will be your N of A. Right on it. 3C1 means 3, 4C1 means 4, 2C1 means 2, 12 into 2, 24. Okay, 24. Then what will be the probability? Probability they are asking now finally 24 by 84. See 4 2s, 4 1s, 4 6s. Okay. 
If A is the event of getting the sum of the numbers on two dice as greater than or equal to A, that means see, n of A I want to write like this. Among see, between two dice, total eight should come, and more than eight also will come. At least to equal to eight or greater than. That means you see, shall I take one? One means another die will be six. So one plus six is seven, but not eight. At least eight should be there. That means one you cannot take. Two you can take. Two six. Three you can take. Three five and three six will come. Okay. Ah, then four you can take. Four 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 five four six will come. Five you can take. Five three will come. That is eight. Again five four. Again five five. Again five six. Six comes means automatically six two will come. Six three will come. Six four will come. Six five will come. Six six three will come. Okay. See normally this is n of a. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That means see, you are n of a is equal to fifteen. Okay, n of a is equal to fifteen. Shall I write this formula p of b? Probability of a intersection b by probability of a. Okay, ah, probability of a. Rs we take like this rather than probability we take n only. N of a is there. N of a intersection b how to find? Okay, you see here n of a is required, but n of b do you require? Not required. But oh, a intersection b you can find. What is a intersection b? Go back. See, two dice are thrown simultaneously. A is the event of the sum of the numbers on two dice is greater than or equal to eight. Okay, this is over. And B is the event of B is the event of getting a number less than or equal to three on at least one of the dice. Less than or equal to three. That means see, less than three means one may come. Yes. But intersection has to take na. No? See, separate B, P of B, we don't bother. Here, n of A intersection B by n of A you require. That means, see, n of A intersection B means see, both should match. A and B should match. Whenever A starts with two, then you cannot go for one here. Okay. Even if you go for n, two, is it applicable here? Yes. Why? Because see, this is right. Less than three or equal to three, but total is going to become eight. That means, see, two six you can take. At least one is less than or equal to three. The three yes, sir. three five, three six yes, sir. four no. Why because three less than or equal to three should come. Four completely not required. Five three yes, sir. No no no. Ah uh, yes six two, six three. That's all. That means see how many are there. See again, once again you go back. B is the event of getting a number less than or equal to three on at least one of the day. Any one, three or less should come. Here two is less than three. Three is equal to three. Less than or equal to three. Three, three, two, three. Three or two. Okay. See how many here. 
10 of 8 sets be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Understand? Okay. Now you got your answer. P of B bar A is equal to 6 by 15. 3 2 3 5. 2 by 5. 3 2 3 5. Okay? This is the answer. Let us go for the next question. See question number 24. Answer 2007 question. Here B bar is there. Uh, if A and B are mutually exclusive events, mutually exclusive events whenever A and B, then we can say that P of A intersection B is equal to 0. Mutually, intersection, mutually exclusive means. Okay. This we know. And also, P of B is not equal to 1. Okay, but they are asking P of A condition B. See, P of A condition B bar is equal to P of A intersection B bar by P of B bar. Okay? Uh, that is the formula. Now you see, P of A intersection B, R, B bar is equal to P of A minus P of A intersection B. Okay? Uh, now go for P of B bar. P of B bar is equal to 1 minus P of B. Okay? Uh. But here you see P of A intersection B is mutually exclusive means this is going to become only P of A. See for this question, for this question, so you can mutually exclusive, that is why P of A intersection B is 0. Now what will be the answer? P of A bar B dash is equal to P of A by 1 minus P of B. Okay? P of A by 1 minus P of B. This is the answer for this question. Okay? Now we we'll close this class. We will continue in the next class. I think around 40 plus questions we will do in this chapter. Okay? Thank you very much.